Okay, very good. Now we're back on the record. So now I'm doing the posterior hamstring uh, uh, thigh muscles, and then I'm going to do both anterior and posterior leg muscles. Okay, my good friends? Okay, so this one, the gracilis gracilis, is like the sartorius sartorius in the front, but uh, I'm not going to cut it. I used to do that, but then it used to fall off here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel it off completely like this and flip it. I'm not going to cut it like I did the sartorius sartorius. Correct? You see, once I peel this off, I'm going to reveal uh, some of the adductor muscles here too, and then towards the back of the thigh, it will be the hamstrings okay do you see it you see, look look here look look here okay so I, i'm gonna make sure my saphenous uh great uh saphenous artery and vein is gonna be over here okay my good friend uh so and then you can see the edge of it right here so what i'm gonna do right about now is get the connective tissue here and then again my thing is itchy okay i'm gonna scrape with my glasses <laughs> Because I'm too lazy to take my glasses off, go wash the hands and stuff, so that I can finish and let you guys off. Ellie, you might like that. It's a Friday today. Huh? You're, going, you're going to loosen up a little bit. Okay, my good friends. So I do that. I do that. I am cutting. I am cutting. I'm making sure that I'm cutting the connective tissue. Have you noticed if you kind of spread it out a little bit like this, you can see where the muscle is. I was kind of too close for my liking to the muscle here, but still I didn't cut the muscle. So, like I say, you want to preserve the blood vessels, because we're going to do this. This is going to be in the muscle exam, okay? Oh, crap. It's going to be in the uh, circulatory system exam. That's the last lab, you understand? Uh, so, so there's that. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do that. Okay, my good friends, bing, bam, bing, bam, bing, bam, bing. And then we do that. Okay. Oh, man. It's slippery now, because it's all greasy and stuff. So, like I say, with the gracilis gracilis, I'm, I'm going to peel it off here from the top. Do you see the line here? And it's separating. I don't know what happened to my... Do you see what happened? Some, something cut it. You see my uh, uh, semi-tendinosis? Semi it's uh, part of the hamstrings. Uh, so, I, I'm not sure what happened to it. You see, I didn't cut it, but it, it really tore. The muscle tore. I don't know what they were doing. Maybe they overstretched it. I don't know. Okay, my good friends, and it's the one that looks like a cable, looks like a tendon, that's why it's called the semi-tendinosus, semi-tendinosus. You see what I'm saying, my good friends? Uh-huh. So there's that. And then the one that looks more like a membrane, it's flat, is the semi-membranosus, semi-membranosus. And I'm going to show it to you right here, which is this one. You see what I'm saying, my good friends? I'm just trying to peel off this uh, gracilis, gracilis, so I could reveal... Uh, those other muscles there, okay? Do you see? Do you see here? Do you see something happened to... The, this is not supposed to be. This is supposed to be one continuous muscle like that. Do you see that, my good friends? You see like here. Uh, I zoom it into the camera. Okay? So there's that. There's that. continue to peel it off, to peel it off like that, okay, like this, I can show there like that, big, big, okay, very good, you see my cobwebs, my connective tissue, it means my separation is good, is A, okay, and you can see here, you see the line here, so I can continue to peel off a little bit, uh, here, there's going to be a, uh, Adductor longus, adductor longus, that frays up real easy. So I want to be real careful. Uh, with my last cat, I did real good now. You see what I'm saying? I made, made sure my uh, adductor longus, adductor longus was intact. Okay, my good friends? So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to continue to cut here. This is part of the... Uh, the proximal cordofemoral artery and vein. I didn't want to cut it as I am uh, releasing this and separating this uh, gracilis gracilis. So, you understand? I wanted to leave it intact. Remember the blood vessels you don't want to cut. And you can see my connective tissue. Uh, and then you keep doing that. Okay. 
see how it's very easy to damage these muscles. So here, uh, it's sometimes nerves can be very tough as well. So sometimes we have to just cut it. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. So do you see it's already separated like that already? Uh, so here, this flat one here is semi-membranosus, semi-membranosus. And uh, unfortunately, my semi-tendinosus got cut here. It broke. Uh, probably it really uh, something it tore up uh, I don't know maybe it pulled a hemi <laughs> and it tore up you know what I'm saying a hamstring <laughs> tore up from the floor up <laughs> I just thought of it you know <laughs> but that's kind of cruel when you tell somebody it's tore up from the floor up. <laughs> it means the whole thing is <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you're tore up from the floor. Up. <laughs> Your feet too, included. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I am releasing this uh, semi-tendinosus, my friend. It would have been one long muscle like this if it wasn't for the for the tear that happened here uh, before they killed it or before they put it down. But you can see it's right there, right? Do you see the edge of it? So I'm going to just keep going down. Uh, but unfortunately today, this, uh, you know, is torn already. Okay. So I'm going to just have to be careful, okay? And then I can separate it here from the vastus, I mean from the biceps femoris, biceps femoris. Okay, but it's cut off. I'm going to try and preserve that connective tissue that is holding it together so it kind of stays together like that so i'm gonna have to be real careful now you see what i'm saying my good friends and so forth do you see that my good friends uh, okay so there's that there's that and then i do that and then i do that okay my good friends so after this when i'm done with this and we do the lower uh, the, the 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 rest of the lower limb here the the, the leg once we do the leg and then we are golden and then we got all the muscles so so what i'm gonna do you see how i'm gonna just leave this connected like that so you see that this is not supposed to be torn like that this the one that looks like a tendon or like a cable is the semi-tendinosus semi-tendinosus right the one that looks kind of flattish like a membrane semi-membranosus semi-membranosus okay and then we can see here there's the division between the semi-membranosus, semi-membranosus, and the sort of triangular muscle, which is the adductor femoris in the cat and the adductor longus in the human. Okay, my good friends? Uh, but here, there's going to be another long muscle, long thin muscle, that is running along the adductor femoris, adductor longus, which is going to be the uh, adductor, which is going to be the uh, adductor longus in the cat and its adductor longus still in the human. So what does that mean? It means the human will have one fat long muscle, adductor longus, okay, like this, or, but the cat has two, okay? So the cat will have the adductor longus, adductor longus, and then the adductor femoris, adductor longus. So in your list, what I put is the one that's different, okay? Uh, I just put the adductor femoris in the cat, adductor longus in the human. But you guys are still responsible for this adductor longus, adductor longus. I didn't want to say adductor longus, adductor longus. Adductor fe uh, femoris, adductor longus again. So I didn't want to do that. I just put the one that's different. So the other one is on the list, okay? But I just didn't write it down for that reason because it doesn't want to be repetitive. But you guys should know it. So now I'm going to free up this uh, adductor longus, adductor longus. I, 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 and uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then... Uh, 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 next to it will also be the uh, uh, adductor, uh, well, the pectineus muscle, which is kind of also in there, the pectineus. Uh, you will see it listed in the book and stuff like that, in the lab manuals and whatnot. Uh, but uh, the pectineus, I think, is not on the list. Okay, so uh, whatever is not on the list, uh, you know, uh, even if I point out to it, to it really, I won't put it in the exam because it won't be fair, correct? Uh, only what's in the list can come in the exam. Okay, uh, but I just try to be complete, you know, and show you everything. You see what I'm saying? 
Okay, so there's the line here with the adductor longus. Adductor longus. Like I say, it's very, very, very flimsy. It's easy to, you know what I'm saying? To tear this adductor longus. As you can see, it's very easily teared. Uh, for some reason, sometimes these muscles, they get cooked up when they preserve and stuff. See what I'm saying? So this long, thin one. Are you listening, my good friends? Okay. Uh, so there's that. That long, thin one would be the adductor longus indicate still adductor longus in the human, because the human would have one long, wide muscle called the adductor longus. Correct? So that's that's how that's working. And then we have the adductor magnus, which is another big one, but we don't see it here. Okay. B, do you see it, my good friend? So, so there's the adductor longus, adductor longus, and then this flat sort of triangular one would be the adductor femoris indicate, adductor longus in the human, all right? And then this is the gracilis gracilis, and this is the uh, semimembranosus, yes, my good friend, uh, uh, one, semimembranosus, semimembranosus, that's the flat one that almost looks like a membrane. And the one that almost looks like a cable, like a tendon, semitendinosus, semitendinosus in the back there, right? And then obviously to complete it, the biceps femoris, biceps femoris. Okay? Uh, that's what flexes the lower limb. Just like the bicep brachii flexes the arm, the forearm, like this. You see what I'm saying? So when you're doing like at the gym, you're doing this. You know, you're using your hamstring flexing. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Isn't that coolio? Bing! <sighs> Yeah, my good friends. All right. I'm trying to remove this blob of fat here because I'm going to be coming here. You see what I'm saying? Over here, I'm going to finish up the rest of the bicep femoris, bicep femoris, because uh, it's covering partially, the, 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 and then it's got a lot of connective tissue covering some of the anterior part and then some of the gastrocnemius and posterior leg muscles. You see what I'm saying, my good friends? So that's what I'm going to do here. That's why I'm, I'm doing that. Bing, bing, bing. Then I'm just removing some of this fat. Okay, so here, so I do that, you know, I put my little finger in there, and so when I've got that, so then here and being, I take my handy dandy uh, scissors here, and then I start to cut, bing, bam, bing, bam, bing, bam, bing. I'm doing that. Like when, especially when we go to the anterior part of the leg, the muscle, uh, the tibialis anterior, which is over here, uh, okay, is going to have a lot of connective layers of connective tissue covering it. So you have to be very patient when you're peeling off that connective tissue. Okay, my good friends? Do you see that, my good friends? Starting with this connective tissue that is attached to the bicep femoris, bicep femoris. Oh, it's, it's recording. I almost skipped a bit because I didn't see the red. <laughs> Arterial fibrillation. <laughs> it gives me a heart attack. Okay, my good friends. <laughs> So there is that, my good friends, and so forth. Uh, we do that. So I'm going to also free this a little bit l more over here. Being See, again, it's got all sorts of connective tissue here. Okay? And then over obviously here, all sorts of connective tissue. So that's, I'm going to be peeling and peeling away all of that. Okay? You see my, my gastrocnemius muscle over here? Do you see that? So I'm peeling and I'm peeling. Okay. Bing. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. So now we're going to expose a whole bunch of muscles here, starting with the ones you see. There's the gastrocnemius, gastrocnemius, the posterior femur calf muscle. Correct. Uh, and then here, we're going to have to work with a lot of connective tissue coverings. We're going to have to peel them off, uh, especially like one at a time, one at a time. Okay. You can see that. Do you see that? Then we're going we're gonna to see the soleus is going to be somewhere here, and then we'll do that, and, and it's going to look beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So let's do that. Okay. Make sure our blunt end is towards the cat. Okay, my good friends. Okay, very good. Okay, do you see the cobwebs? You can see that. Then you know 
your separation is good. So over here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue to peel it off here. You see the connective tissue? Do you see the more I peel, the white disappears, and you start getting the tan, the muscles. Okay, very good. Ah, and, and then we do that, and then we do that, and then we do that, and then we do that. And then, you see, there's the soleus, soleus right here. And then I'm going to peel the gastrocnemius, gastrocnemius off of it a little bit to expose the soleus right here. Do you see that, my good friends? Okay, my good friend, are you listening to me? Okay, very good. So there's that. So now you can see the soleus, soleus, right? Okay, very good. Do you see the soleus, soleus? So this is the soleus, soleus. There's the gastrocnemius, gastrocnemius. For the most part, you just have to repeat the same muscle twice because they're the same name. Do you see what I'm saying, my good friends? Isn't that coolio? Okay, very good. And then again, like I say, oh, there's the, uh, and then this is the peroneus longus, peroneus longus. That's why that common fibula can also be called common peroneal. Remember that, uh, my good friends? Uh, so, so there's that. Uh, very good. All right, my good friends. So we're going to do this. We're going to do that. Very good. So, like I say, I have to be patient. So I use my uh, sharp end very sparingly like that. You see how I, when I do that, uh, we're going to go in there. Uh, and then again, again, this connective tissue is tough. So you don't want to just, cut, uh, you know, kind of sort of uh, try to pull it apart because then it's going to damage your muscle as well. So you must always want to, you want to cut, you want to cut, bing, you want to do that, you want to do that. Okay, my good friends. And then you want to do that. And then you get this. Phew, we're almost done, my good friend. Don't worry about it. Okay, very good. We're almost done. Okay, bing, 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 bing. So there's that. So we get here uh, gastrocnemius. Mm -hmm. Gastrocnemius. So I'm going to do that. Can I pull it off? Okay, so, so this is obviously the biceps femoris, biceps femoris, right? From the strings. And then here is the gastrocnemius, gastrocnemius, okay, and there's the soleus, soleus, nicely separated, and there's the peroneus longus, peroneus longus, you see, you got to be real careful now when you do this, uh, so you got to do that, and, and, and then you do this, 